Welcome to the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting video vignette series in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting solution to improve the security of endpoints in your organization's network. Hello, my name is Chris Merritt, and in this episode I'm joined by David Murray from Product Management to discuss how you can better protect your endpoints using intelligent whitelisting. It's said that a typical business endpoint has 66 legitimate applications on it. Of course, these applications consist of many, many files and are not consistent across the entire organization. This imposes a management burden on IT as it tries to add whitelisting to their defense in depth security strategy. In any organization with more than a handful of endpoints to protect, application scanning can result in an ocean of information. So, David, how does one manage this mass of data in a timely, effective, and efficient manner to get the appropriate protections in place? Chris, the key reason we organize files in the application library is to make policy creation easier. By grouping files into applications, we can then make decisions about which applications we want to allow to execute in our organization and which we don't. We have other vignettes that cover authorizing and denying applications from the application library, so I'm not going to focus on that here. In this vignette, I'm going to show how we go about organizing files in the application library so that we can go ahead and authorize or deny applications. Files get added to the application library as a result of easy auditor or easy lockdown scans of the endpoints. Initially, these files come into the ungrouped files folder uh, in the application and library, and that's where we go to find the new files and organize them. Now, there will be a large number of files, so you can apply filters to reduce the number of files we have to consider and enable quick decisions. For example, I know we use VMware in our engineering group, so I can find the associated files and simply select all of these files and group them under a VMware application. You can see I'm starting to build up a list of applications here. Before I go any further, I should step back and decide how I want to structure the library. Files can be organized in a number of different ways, and you should give some thought to the best strategy for your organization. Folders in the application library can be nested up to three levels deep, so this gives you a lot of flexibility. So let's look at a couple of possible approaches. I could organize by application type. I have a number of different browsers, and I could organize files per browser type, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and so on. And I could also organize, I could also organize these uh, by version. The reason I might want to do this is to restrict the number of versions I need to support. So I might authorize IE8 and IE9, but deny IE7. Another approach, at the top level, I have a more general category such as business applications. And nested under this, I have vendors. And under this, I might have products or product version combinations. So give some thought to determine what going to work best for you in your environment. Now, if I go back to my ungrouped files, you can see that each file has a verification rating, which has been obtained from our cloud-based reputation database. Uh, this is something we've covered in detail in another vignette. These verification ratings represent a confidence level that these files are what they claim to be. So in terms of organizing files, I could simply filter to all of the high uh, verification ratings, select all of these files and authorize them. Uh, this would be a good starting point. And if I look back on our home page, we can see here that 86% um, of the files in the application library have been rated as high. So I now only need to focus on the remaining 14%. So Chris, uh, these are a few different techniques or approaches you can use to organize files in the application library. So this is really a matter of getting organized ahead of time to better protect the endpoints, kind of a stitch in time saves nine sort of thing. Yes, Chris. Uh, once you have completed this, it really simplifies the task of creating policies to authorize or deny applications and take control of your environment. It's important to make this initial investment to get consistency and reduce IT burden in the longer term. Great. Thanks, David. 
I hope you enjoyed this short video on how the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting Solution will help you improve security, increase productivity, and reduce total cost of ownership. For more information, please visit the Intelligent Whitelisting page on our website, where you can get free premium security tools to assess your network today or to sign up for a free trial version. Thank you.